Okay, here we are at the uh, message control tab. Uh, this is the autoresponder series. Uh, you see zero. This is the first email that will go out. As soon as they validate uh, their subscription, this one will go out immediately. This one will go out one day later. This one will go out three days later, seven days later, and so on. Uh, the validate email you can edit up here. Let's click on that and you see the, the editor come up. You can put in your subject, uh, you put in your text. Uh, their name will appear here, of course, and the, where the macros are. This validate uh, URL, they'll have to click on this to validate their subscription and start the uh, autoresponder series. Uh, this cannot be removed. Uh, free auto response is all double opt-in, uh, so this uh, this link here will have to be there. Double opt-in is better for you. It's better for them. It protects us, protects them, protects you, protects everybody. It's much better. So we're going to go. Uh, now we've done that. So we go back to message control. We add. We want to add a new uh, email. So down here we go add new message. Uh, subject of the email we'll say is test okay the last one's 15 days so we'll make this one 20 days after okay then you go down here you have your WYSIWYG editor uh, it's pretty pretty robust you can add a link add an image add a table you can even use email uh, email you can even use HTML uh, if you want to make something more more elaborate you can do that have the macros down here you just copy. Okay. You just copy. And paste it in there. That'll uh, personalize your emails. Uh, and uh, you can use those in the heading, in the text. There's one for the email. You can use that. Then you just save that message. And there it is. Uh, test. 20 days after uh, you go back and edit if you need to but that's how the message uh, the message editor works and that's pretty much it uh, you can uh, edit your validation email then set up your autoresponders in the series uh, that you want and uh, that's how it works